Hey guys, it's Rebecca Bristat. Um, in today's video, I'm actually going to be doing a first impression of the Goop Glow. This is their 5% glycolic acid and fruit extract overnight glow peel light. They do have one that's 15%. Um, I did get this sent to me by um, Goop through Octoly for review. This was gifted to me to review for um, I think I'm supposed to do a review on Sephora, but I figured I have four of these. Why not, you know, um, do a first impression and then do one a week and then see how these work on my skin. I have been using this from The Ordinary. It is the AHA 30% BHA 2% peeling solution. I have used this like three times now. I usually use this on either Thursday or Friday and then you know, I, I do it like once a week. So I've used this a couple of times since I got it in. So this isn't much different. Um, I did open one, I did a patch test on the inside of my elbow and I'm not having any reactions to it because I figure if I'm used to using the other one, my face hopefully won't freak out. Um, this is Fred. George was over here, he finally healed, but Fred's hanging out. Now I've got a whole crop of them coming up over here and I haven't had chocolate in several days. So, um, for those that don't know, Goop is actually owned by Gwyneth Paltrow and I think she's stunning. Um, I've always enjoyed her as an actress and I think she's got beautiful skin. So I was really excited to try this out. Um, this has a bunch of different like extracts in it, fruit extract. It says this gentle exfoliating overnight acid peel refines, retexturizes, and brightens skin while you sleep. An effective yet mild level 5% of glycolic acid and fruit extracts, mango, banana, yellow, mombin, and Australian kakadu plum. Work together with naturally moisturizing hyaluronic acid so you wake up with fresh, soft, smooth, beautifully glowing skin. This directions. Use once a week at bedtime on clean, dry skin. Apply pre-soaked pad evenly over face, neck and chest and shoulders. Leave on overnight and rinse off in the morning. Apply moisturizer after 15 minutes if you like. Note, some tingling or itching may occur for up to five minutes after application. If you experience sensitivity, rinse with water and pat dry. Test this product on a small patch of skin inside the elbow prior to use. Now, they recommend using this at night because of the fact that it's an AHA um, and sun exposure and stuff can cause uh, excessive burning. It causes you to be photosensitive. So I want to show you it's 822 on February 20th when I'm filming this and I'm going to go ahead and get started. Now I do know that looking at the like info on the Goop website. It just appeared on the Sephora website. There's two different sides. So you have the one side that has like little light bumps and then the other side has like little exfoliating bumps. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to pick up. You can barely see the texture and this is like soaking wet, like soaking wet. So I'm going to Try and squeeze some off in this package for a minute because I'll try and do like my chest and stuff after I film because you know I have to take my shirt off for that. Save some of the juicy stuff for that. So there's a little pocket here that you can slide your fingers into. I'm going to try and use the little little bumpy side first and then I'll flip it around and use the other side. Smells familiar. And then I'm going to flip it around to the more cottony side. And even when I do a normal mask, I bring it all the way out to here. Hmm. 
interesting. There's like a little bit of discoloration on here. It's been about four and a half, five hours since I took a shower. And I didn't put any like moisturizer or anything on my face because I knew I'd be using this. So I'm wonder if it's just dead skin cells that it's getting off my face. Because I know I didn't have any makeup on after my shower because I made I always double cleanse. So um there's a little bit of like itching here and here and a little bit on my neck. But other than that, there's just a little bit of like light tingling on my face. I tell you what, the B8, the um, ordinary one makes my face like burn and itch and tingle, and I want like tapping on it, trying to get it to stop itching. Um, so this one is definitely more mild than the other one. It's definitely sticky. <laughs> So I do have my face oil here on the counter that has rose hips oil in it. It's the 100% rose hip seed oil from The Ordinary. And then I've been testing out the CeraVe moisturizing cream um, instead of my First Aid Beauty one. Um, I'm going to be doing like a mini review of that here really soon along with the cleanser that I got that's from that brand and my opinions of it. Um, this so far, it smells familiar. I don't know. I think I've done like a regular like tube face mask that has this fragrance. I certainly don't smell the mango or the banana and I'm not quite sure what yellow mombin is but I have used products with the Australian kakadu plum in it before so I'm not quite sure if that's what I'm smelling. Yeah, there's also lavender oil in here. Interesting. So I'm going to um, add my moisturizer to my face and then go to bed. And then when I get up in the morning, I will show you the time and you know the date, that kind of thing. And then I will do like a morning after like reaction so I can see how this does on my skin. Um, I do have some breakouts and stuff that are popping up on my face or that are popped up and that are healing. Like this one here has been here for over two weeks now and it's just kind of annoying now. Um, thankfully this one went away and I did zoom in really close so you could see what my skin looks like at the beginning. So um, I will include that as like a clip somewhere here on the screen so that you can see what my skin looks like up close. And then um, I will do an up close take in the morning and then re you know finish the review then. But so far, so good. The itching, anything that was like itching or tingling has quit. So um, that's a good sign. I do run over my eyebrows because when I have like eyebrow hairs that grow in, they do get like little pimple things that come up with them sometimes. And I do break out in here quite a bit. I actually had a breakout in here just the other day. So I will come back in the morning and finish this review up. And um, yeah, I will see you in a about eight to 10 hours, bye. Hey guys, so it is the next morning. There is the time and date on my phone. Um, it's been almost 12 hours since I used the, jelly will be thing. The Goop Glow, uh, this is the glycolic acid, the 5% glycolic acid um, treatment that I did last night on my skin. Um, I noticed that this spot, Fred, decided that he wanted to itch half the night. Um, but other than that, my face does feel super soft. All I've done is like splash water on my face this morning. I haven't, um, I've been up for about four, three and a half, four hours. Um, I haven't like washed my face. I haven't added anything to my skin. All I did last night was um, I added the oil the rose hip oil from the ordinary and then I put the CeraVe moisturizer over that and then I went to bed um, well I watched a movie and then I went to bed uh, my skin does feel soft um, I'm not like noticing any like dryness or itching or anything like that and I did carry it down my neck on top of my shoulders and that kind of thing and 
decolletage area. Um, so this is only my first impression of the product. I did have a little bit of itching last night um, after like I added the moisturizers to my skin. But other than that, I really didn't notice any like irritation. I have like no dry spots on my face. I, I didn't have any like sensitivity or anything that I've noticed so far with the couple of hours that I've been up. Um, I am not feeling, there was no tightness feeling, there was no itching, uh, there's no tenderness, there's no like sensitivity or anything like that other than, you know, Fred being his bad self. So, um, so far so good. I can't wait to see. Um, I will use these on like camera and then like the next three uses, what I'll do is I will just show you my skin, I'll use it, and then the next day I'll come back and record like the uh, morning after I use it. So like next next Thursday, Friday, whenever I use it, I will um, record this process again, but I probably won't talk through the third and fourth pad or the second and third pads. I will probably just do like a recap after I use the fourth one. So that way I will have four full uses, which is a month of using this product just to see how it works. And I'm grateful to Octoly for opening up their program to um, more people, even though I don't qualify for influencer status on there because you need 5,000 Instagram followers. And about two years ago, I purged my Instagram and got rid of like ghost followers and inactive followers and people that just were not interacting with my contact or my content, or they would like, it was a sub, you know, follow for follow kind of thing. And so I went through and I got rid of like thousands of followers on Instagram. So I don't have 5,000 followers on Instagram. I do, however, have the thousand subscribers on YouTube, but I don't have the thousand watch time um, every video for like one month that they're requiring um, for influencer status on YouTube. So um, I usually get between eight and 25 views per video that I upload to YouTube. Sometimes I get a little bit more, but very rarely do I ever crack 100 views on a video. Even though I post daily, I've been I've had a YouTube channel since 2013. I've been uploading daily content for well over two years now, and it doesn't seem to like make a difference. I, I really wish YouTube would just audit my account and get rid of all the like bot accounts, the fake accounts, the inactive accounts that are on my subscription list because then I would see a true number of who is actually legitimately subscribed to my channel that's watching my content, that kind of thing. Cause I honestly think there's like 2000 plus people on there that are following me that are not accurate. So. I'm Rebecca Brissett. Hopefully you like this first impression review of another like AHA type BHA product where um, it's an anti-aging thing, but it's also a resurfacing product. And it seems to be very nice. I know they make a 15% solution, which would probably be more along the lines of, you know, this one here that I'm used to using. Um, so I am interested in trying out more things like this. So yeah. Um, I just wish they were not in like single use packets um, with them being in something like this. I wish that they were more in something like this. And I know the other boxes that they have, they all come individually wrapped like this. They're not in like a tub like this where you open it up and you take a pad out. So um, I think that this is unnecessarily wasteful. That's the only con that I have to this is the fact that it comes in a single use packet. I um, mean, there was enough liquid on there literally to do my face, my neck, my, my arms to my elbows, my chest, um, the, uh, my upper back, that kind of thing, because you figure, you know, from here up see sun on me at least. And I do wear a lot of tank tops. So usually from like upper chest up and upper back up, is usually what sees the sun. So I tried to get everywhere that sees sun. Um, but I really wish that they would put these in something like this um, because you know this makes more sense to me. And then if they want to like sell refill packets, they could sell something in one of these. You just kind of take them out and stick them in one of these. That makes more sense to me. But again, um, I, it's just, I'm one of those people that I don't like sheet masks for the fact that it's very wasteful. So I will see you guys in another video very soon. Thanks to Octoly for gifting this to me to review and um, Goop Beauty and yeah.
Uh, I can't wait to see if this makes a, a bigger change on my skin than the Ordinary's one because I haven't noticed any like major differences in, in my skin using that one. So if anything, I've noticed that my pores here on my face are actually more pronounced than they were before I started using it. So just something that I've observed. Anyways, I will see you guys in another video very soon. Have a great one.